5 seconds to go start my dear countrymen namaskar last week we achieved a feat that filled all of us with pride you must have heard that last week india has achieved the export target of dollar 400 billion that is 30 lakh crore rupees at first instance it might come across as a matter related to the economy but more than the economy it is related to the capability of india the potential of india at one time the figure of exports from india used to be 100 billion at times 150 billion sometimes 200 billion today india has reached 400 billion dollars in a way this means that the demand for items made in india is increasing all over the world the other meaning is that the supply chain of india is getting stronger by the day and it ha- it also has a very big message the nation takes great strides when results are bigger than dreams when there is a sincere effort day and night for the results those resolutions also attain fruition and you see the same happens in a person's life as well when once resolve once efforts become bigger than once dreams success comes to the person own its own friends new ever new products from all corners of the country are reaching foreign shores leather products from hela kandi in assam or handloom products from usmanabad fruits and vegetables from bijapur or black rice from chandoli the exports of all of these are increasing now you will also find the world famous apricot of ladakh in dubai too and in saudi arabia you will find bananas shipped from tamil nadu most importantly an array of new products are being sent to our new year countries for example the first consignment of millets grown in himachal and uttarakhand was exported to denmark banganapalli and subarnarekha mangoes from krishna and chitur districts of andhra pradesh were exported to south korea fresh jack fruits from tripura were exported to london by air and for the first time king chili from nagaland was dispatched to london similarly the first consignment of bhaliya wheat was exported from gujarat to kenya and sri lanka this means now if you go to other countries media in india products will be more visible than ever before friends this list is very long and the power of make in india is equivalent in might to the extent of the list equally great is the potential of india and the basis of its strength are our farmers artisans our viewers engineers our small entrepreneurs the msme sector people from many different professions all of them are its true strength it is only due to their hard work that the goal of exporting to the tune of dollar 400 billion has been achieved and i am happy that this power of the people of india is now reaching new markets in every nook and corner of the world when each and every indian is vocal for local it does not take long for the local to become global let us make the local global and augment the prestige of our products further friends the listeners of man ki baat 
we love to know that the success of our small entrepreneurs at the domestic level also makes us proud. Today, our small entrepreneurs are playing a major partnership role in government procurement through government e-market place that is GEM. A much transparent system has been developed through technology. During the last one year, through the GOM portal, the government has purchased items worth more than 1 lakh crore rupees, close to 1.25 lakh small entrepreneurs, small shopkeepers from every corner of the country have sold their goods directly to the government. There was a time when only big companies could sell goods to the government. However, the country is changing now. The old systems are also changing. Now, even the smallest of shopkeepers can sell one's goods to the government on the GOM portal. This is the new India. She not only dreams big, but also shows the courage to reach the goal where no one has reached before. On the basis of this very courage, all of us Indians all together will definitely fulfill the dream of an Atamnirbhar Bharat, a self-reliant India. My dear countrymen, you must have observed Baba Sivanandji in the recently held Padma Awards ceremony. Seeing the agility of the 126-year-old, everyone must have been surprised just like I was and I saw before one could bat on eyelid, he started bowling in the Nandi Mishra. I bowled a number of times and offered pranam to Baba Sivanandji. Both the age of 126 years and the fitness of Baba Sivanand are the subject of discussion in the country today. I read many people's comments on social media that Baba Ko switched on is an inspiration for all of us. I wish him a long life. He has a passion for yoga and leads a very healthy lifestyle. In our culture, everyone is wished a hundred years of healthy life. We will celebrate World Health Day on the 7th of April. Today, the collective Indian thought on health, whether it is yoga or Ayurveda, is increasingly trending all over the world. Just last week, you must have noticed a yoga program being organized in Qatar in this citizens of 114 countries participated and made a new world record. Similarly, the market of the Ayush industry is also increasing continuously. Six years ago, the market for medicines related to Ayurveda was around 22,000 crores. Today, the Ayush manufacturing industry is reaching around 1,40,000 crore rupees. That is, the possibilities are increasing continuously in this sector. In the startup world also, Ayush is becoming a subject of attraction. Stop.